to the studio and I said, let's not just do another movie. Let's swing for the fences. I think what people are in store for is Avatar, but timed 100. It takes it to a whole other place. I've never seen anything like this in a movie. It picks up where it left off and he just... It was wild. My eyes were glued to the screen and I can't wait for people to see it. The world is bigger. The stakes are higher. This is our home! I was always looking at everything in wonder. What Jim is trying to create is very truthful, very emotional and grounded tales. I need you to be strong. A family trying to survive. Strong heart. It's really got this level of magic and crazy. Go, 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 go! It takes years to make these movies, but there's nothing like this. It was the experience of the first movie, but on steroids. <laughs>There are different ways to make films that have CG characters. What we're interested in with performance capture is the totality of the performance. Physical, emotional, facial, the eyes, everything. The actor creates the emotion, the actor creates the moment. It's our job to make sure that everything the actor did is preserved in their CG character. You are very hard on them. I'm the father, it's my job. Everything that Jake Sully as a Navi does, Sam has done. I thought we lost them. You can capture the emotion, you can capture the subtleties, the nuances of the movements, you can capture the eye, you can capture the ticks, everything. Capture it all. I'll be nice once then I won't. The moment I saw her for the first time, I was just like, you're just so beautiful. Blue has never looked more beautiful. <laughs> this is not a squad. It is a family. The amazing thing is that the technology gives me that portal to bring my 14-year-old self to play this girl. Avatar Zone, Link, go around. <laughs> In making a movie set on Pandora, Pandora doesn't exist. Avatars don't exist at nine foot tall. We have actors working in a volume with markers on their body, facial head rigs on their head, and we capture 100% of their performance in the digital world. At the beginning of the day, the first thing we do is get into the performance capture suit, and that is a skin-tight two-piece, and it's totally filled with ping-pong-like balls around us, so they can then track my arm and then translate that into the virtual world. They have all these little cameras that send these little rays which give an image of you moving around so every little movement is your movement. And then we put a head rig on and it's a helmet and it has a camera that's right in front of your face. One of the big advances that we've made technologically on the sequels is the facial performance capture. We are capturing a much higher fidelity of performance. But I know one thing. This family is our fortress. I've done a lot of green screen, I've done a lot of blue screen, but never anything, of course, like this, where there really is no screen. You're just acting in a space. Now you must stand with us. I've always thought that being in the volume is about playing and imagination, and there is no kind of fear or no shame. You can do whatever you need to do to get to that truth. Saving their lives, that's all that matters. I have had to work completely differently than I ever have before. And it's been an amazing experience to go back in time. Why am I different? It is just remarkable to be able to see the movements and the performance go straight into the character. And it's like, there's Kate and then, hey, there's Renard. So that has been fascinating to me. Uh, what is this, Donawari? What is this?
I find as a director, I'm much more attuned to the actors because that's all I have to worry about. I'm not distracted by the camera move or the extras in the background. I'm just there for them. That's all I care about. That's all I'm watching. It's an amazing process. It's also the only way to do it. It's the only way to make this film. <laughs> I remember Jim saying to me, you're really only 14 the way you act most of the time, so you can do this. <laughs> I think a lot of us remember that age in a very vivid way where you don't feel you can fit in. We talked originally about just this girl who was more at home in the forest, more at home with the plants than with people. I come from a family of matriarchs mostly, so tapping into that was very rewarding for me. Now that I'm a mother, becoming Neytiri was really inward journey for me that I've been able to benefit still to this day. Steven, you're coming back in this movie. Tell us about that a little bit. I know you're all asking yourselves the same question. Why so blue? <laughs> to take a character who represents the most kind of antiquated and limited point of view of a planet, which is Quaritch in the original Avatar. And by placing him within the context of a Na'vi body, it advances Quaritch's own point of view. He is brain locked on mission, always has been. That's not the case anymore. There are worms of doubt. The planet is really, really working on him. It's fantastic to see that everything we worked on so hard, this is what it gives the audience. welcomed in such a warm way. It just feels like it's a gift that keeps on giving. What I can tell you about this film is the sparks fly. I feel very proud to be here. I love the movie that we created and now we get to share it. Hello everybody. I've never seen anything so incredible. Very special. Thank you, Korea. I see you. I see all of you. Thank you so much. I can feel your excitement about the movie. It means so much to me. The response of the fans is so passionate and welcoming. I'm so proud of these people that I have the privilege to stand here with. Give a big round of applause to this amazing cast. This carpet is a magnificent moment. Good things are always worth the wait. It really doesn't matter what part of the globe you're from. When you see Pandora, it just has an overwhelming effect. It's so exciting to finally get to share this movie with audiences around the world. Tonight is the night. Are you ready? Are you really ready? Yeah! This family is our fortress. This movie is about protecting your family and protecting those that you love. This is so much love coming at us. And, uh, you know, it's, it's quite something. Uh, look, just have a great time with this film. You're going to get carried away back to Pandora. And, uh, and it's, it's truly, you know, we're really looking forward to seeing what, how much Korea loves the movie. There's, there's a scene between Jake Sully and Kiri that's played by Sigourney Weaver and Sam Wash Worthington. And he's asking her, how does Ewa feel like? And she says, mighty. I know that you're gonna remember that moment because that's exactly how you're gonna be feeling as you're watching the movie. And I mean it with a lot of humility, no arrogance at all. It is that special. There's a, a moment when I, my character, Colonel Quartz, steps off the galactic transport and he looks around and he breathes in the, uh, the air of Pandora. 
And uh, we look forward to you all stepping off this transport <laughs> and breathing in the luxurious air of Pandora. Remember, you're all seeing the film two days before the rest of the world. So don't call your friends in America and in Britain and give anything away, okay? Let's all keep it between ourselves. When you see the movie, you will go under the ocean and you will live in the ocean for a lot of the time. And one of the great characters, he's too big to get on stage with us tonight because he's very whale-like. But you see a friendship between a Navi boy and Payakon. And Payakon becomes, in a way, the hero of this movie. So I want you to remember you're going to meet a very special character that Jim has written and has been beautifully played by various people, I guess. Kevin, anyway, Kevin, Kevin Dornan. Kevin Dornan. And uh, wait, till you see, wait till you meet Pauly Khan. It's just, he's just so wonderful and vulnerable. So enjoy. I just, you know, I've seen the movie a thousand times, a million times. There's one scene, and I can't tell you what it is. Every time I see it, I cry. Every time, and for the rest of my life, every time I see it, I will cry. It's because of these two actors right here that do something so extraordinary that it just, it hits me in the heart every time. And I've seen it a million times. So I know it's gonna get you too. And you know the one I'm talking about. I'm not saying goodbye. Oh, I'm saying until next time. I look forward to being back here. Well, Nyati Kamiye, we see you, thank you. Oh. Thank you, Korea, we love you. Merry Christmas and enjoy the movie. And we can't wait to come back and thank you for the warmest welcome and such good wishes. Thank you.